reinstatement bill? Well, the NHS reinstatement bill is really important because the government's legal duty to provide key NHS services like hospitals and nurses uh, was abolished in the 2012 Health and Social Care Act. And that was an, a legal duty throughout England that had been there since 1946. So we need to reinstate that. So what are the main points of the bill? Well, we put back the duty of the uh, government to provide key NHS services. We establish health boards from the bottom up uh, in terms of uh, us to be public bodies who would plan and provide, so we would get rid of the purchaser provider split. There are also provisions in there on uh, centralising uh, PFI debt in the Treasury and to require the Treasury to come forward with its proposals for reducing PFI debt because they're terrible debts that need to be taken off the back of the NHS. Uh, we also assert Parliament's competence to prevent the signature and ratification of TTIP and to prevent international trade rules and EU competition law trumping Parliament's competence to legislate for the kind of NHS that we want. So what do you say to people that say that the NHS can't stand another top-down reorganisation? Well, I don't want another top-down reorganisation either, but what happened in 2012 was a dismantling of the NHS. So we now have something that is totally disorganised yeah. and incoherent and basically at the whim of the market. The important aspect of this bill that tries to uh, acknowledge the concerns about top-down is that the, the idea of health boards is something that has got to come from the bottom up so that it will be people, the, the, the people and the, the local authorities and the current bodies who will work out, including um, aspects of internal management uh, and the way in which services should be transferred. That will be something that will be worked on at the ground level uh, and, and be brought up to the central level for the sake of state's approval. Thank you very much.